ideas that we could think about that could improve sustainability practice for, for you guys. Um, and what Nikki and I love to do is, is um, think about, okay, well, how... Sometimes councils say that they're sustainable. You know, they've got some really lovely policies out there that doesn't really... And we, and we ask, what do your safe work method statements actually say? And um, for you guys, we think that's a nice place to look. And if it's got the triple bottom line within them, then it has actually filtered down. It's filtered down into what you're actually doing. If, if your safe work method statements have got elements of um, safety or community, um, environment, environmental protection and um, controls, and um, economics, which is sort of it, they, they all do, don't they? So we've got, oh, Jack, I'm pretty sure this is. I just want you to have a look at it and think about it and is it is it as sustainable as it could be? So this is a safe work method statement for concrete. Concrete. Does it have safety concerns in it? Pretty much does because it's a risk. It's a risk um, document, isn't it? Does it have um, environmental concerns within it? So those those guys that went on the sediment, does it have that yeah. integrated? There's excavations involved. Excavation? No, it doesn't write a no mention. Doesn't write a mention. Doesn't write a mention, no. So for me, that says, okay, well then Buck has still got a bit of work to do. Because right. it's not actually down on the ground with you guys. Well, that's right. Not down on the ground. But for us, this is just a, a little um, invest, you know, way of thinking about how integrated is sustainability into your practice, into your practice. So it's just, it's just a thinking thing. Oh, yeah. Just a no, thinking thing. No, I, I agree. And yeah. wherever you can make it better and safer, that's, that's sort of, and also simpler. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there's a generic statement that could go in. I don't know. But getting you to look at your um, safe work method statements. Is often for us a good way to say, well, has it really got balance? Has it really got environmental, social, and economic outcomes in it? And we do have your safe work method that um, Dean passed over for, for here. And I'll just I'll just hand it out, and you you tell we won't talk about it much, but you tell me if you think it's got a balance of um, safety, environment, and economic considerations in it. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah. 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 Um, you, so safe for work us, is is legal is legal which has certain legal criteria, yeah. which yeah. are not yeah. environmental related. Yeah, so that's right. But for us, we try and encourage yeah. councils to think about if you've got no environmental management system, mm -hmm. to incorporate something into your work method statement. It, forget about the legal aspects, we're not talking about that. We're talking about processes within council. But if COPS already has it, end of conversation. But, um, so you, are you happy with your environment system to ensure that environmental practices happen in, on works? Oh, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. That's great. And that actually saves us lots of time because we need time to actually do our projects. So thank you. So that's sort of why I cut you short there. So sorry about that. <laughs>